Pro boxing fans here with Jeffrey Ofori, um, fresh from your, your well, draw and then victory over Kieran Gething. Talk us through what's going through your mind when, he, when, they, when the draw comes out the res, as a result. Um, when I heard the first result went his way, I was totally confused and totally shocked because I thought I won that fight clearly, but I'm going to watch it back and see what they saw. Maybe the rounds where I was moving my head, they might have given them them rounds, but I still feel I won that fight. Uh, you, you, you come in at late notice. Yeah. Talk to me about what, when did you get the call? Um, they told me on Wednesday night. So I was at work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Only took Thursday off and I'm here today. So what, what, what do you do for a job other than boxing? And how do you juggle that? I'm, I'm, I work on construction London, um, London Underground for, for agency. Okay. And um, so how do you juggle that with boxing training then? It must be very difficult. Basically, my job is physical. So I do 10K walks with the patrolman at Ricky. Shout out all the Ricky guys. Um, so it's physical jobs. So I just see as part of training. When I finish there, I head straight to the gym, do that, and I wrap up. That's my day. Talk to us about then how much this winning this competition can do for your life. Um, you know, I didn't really know much about the competition because I only got a day's notice. It's only today when I got all the messages, all the followers on the social media. I'm not really into the social media. That's when I realised how big an opportunity this is. So when I got in there, I said, no matter what, I'm going to give it my all. Who do you want next? Um, whoever, man. I think that Mimuni guy's supposed to be the most rated. If I get the ball, I'll pick him. Jeffrey, all right. Good luck for the rest of the competition. Thanks for giving us some time. Uh, no worries, Matt. Thank you. Thanks, Cheers. Brother. Good luck, man.